it is a super day for us. The restoration of the bison range, the restoration of the buffalo back to our people, it, it can't be, a, you know, I'm just at a loss of words for it. And as you can see, this weekend has been very, very monumental for us. This is a new beginning for healing, not just for the land, but for the pieces of hearts, culture, language, and the identity of the Salish, Pondere, and Kootenai people was taken with the land. We thank you for being here with us today as we continue to heal. We appreciate you. Um, we rely on you. We um, we understand it must have been horrible for your ancestors to have people come in their land and start killing all of their animals without any regard for the future. I get all of them. And all of us want to work our hardest to make sure that we can find some, some way for you to feel like you have hope in, in the future for your children and your grandchildren. So thank you. Your tribe has been a model for conservation. Coming over River Valley, going over the hill, I'd see buffalo on a side hill. I'd sing the song, the buffalo calling song. Then all of a sudden I get news. Whoa, we got the land back. I thought, man, that song is powerful. It has been a tremendous honor to spend the day with so many of you, tribal leaders, water leaders, environmental leaders, women leaders, in fact. And I am confident that the future is bright for the little calves just learning to walk this spring and for the generations of CSKT members who will be reconnected with their ancestral traditions over the decades. This restoration is just one more part of the story to let us know it's still, we're still going in that direction. We're still headed in the right direction. It's still, the story isn't over.